What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Fanis, aka Viper Magic, and today I wanted to talk a little bit of Destiny Crucible play. Now we just got done with Iron Banner version 6.0, which is what I guess we're going to call it. It was basically the sixth iteration of Iron Banner. And this Iron Banner included the major patch 111 notes. You'll know I did a video on it a couple days ago talking about my struggles with Iron Banner ex especially with the shotgun, which I love to use, and I just couldn't seem to get it done. This video is from that era, so my kill-to-death ratio isn't my world-class 10 to 1 like it normally is. I'm joking, of course. But I was having a really hard time closing the distance, and one of the people who commented in a previous video and going through the forums made me analyze my gameplay, and since then I've been doing a lot better. I'll post some more videos on that later, but something I wanted to talk about as you dive back into Crucible. Two things you need to be mindful of. Number one, and I think a lot of us forget this, I know I did, don't forget to go into your character loadout. For a Titan, it is the Titan Codex. For the Hunter, it is called the Ability Modifier. I'm sorry, Class Modifier. And for the Warlock, it is called the Arcane Wisdom. Go into those um, trees and make sure you're specking for the right thing. So you could focus on speed or toughness or battle recovery. Now, for us shotgun users, speed is important. The reason speed is important is because I want to get to you as fast as I can. If I'm running at you with a shotgun and the rate of fire uh, is slow, I'm only going to probably get one shot and maybe a melee. So I need to make sure, and especially with the damage uh, dropping off now faster, I need to make sure that when I pull that trigger, I am right in your face. To do that, I need the speed. I need speed. So for me, that's the most important stat. Now you may find there's other stats that work better for you, but my point is don't forget about them. A lot of people, myself included, hit level 20 and we never look back. We might change the grenade here or there. I know I've been experimenting with the Defender Titan, the grenade types, and I'm trying to find which ones I like better or not. But for the most part, we really don't touch the Codex for the Titan or the other two I mentioned for the Hunter or the Warlock. So make sure you do that and go in. It's just a real quick check. Just verify that you're using the skill set that makes the most sense for you. Although it's not major gains on any of the three, I noticed a minor difference with speed and actually I've been doing a lot better because of that. I'm able to close the gap even faster and get off those precious kills that I need. The second piece of thing I wanted to talk about, and this was another thing I was completely clueless on, was to make sure that if you're using a shotgun, you have the right perks that go with it. Now this is completely random, and unless you're playing an Iron Banner, which is over, you can't respec. Lord Solidan was the only NPC that allowed you to respec. This is something that we've all been pleading for in the Destiny world, but up until now, it's only an Iron Banner. The two perks that I found are working best for me are Hammer Forged and Shot Package. What Hammer Forged does is it increases your range, which is pretty simple, right? However, there is a penalty to reload speed. So as with everything, there's always a trade-off. This isn't a major issue if you think about it because you're, like I said, you're probably only going to get off one shot. So make it count. The other perk that I find helps me a lot with my shotgun battles now is the shot package perk. The shot package perk tightens your pellet spread significantly. And um, the problem with that is it's, it's not like sniper rifle-esque, but unless you're locked on, like dead on, you're going to miss and you're going to do a significantly reduced amount of damage from what you would normally do. But as I mentioned, I was having so many problems with Iron Banner and dying a lot anyway this is kind of an all-in strategy, and it works for me. But I really advise everybody to go check out some of the websites. Planetdestiny.com is a great one. I'll put a link in the video. Go through all the modifiers for your favorite weapon type and see what they are and understand them. And it may take a while. You may have the Glimmer. You may have the Vanguard or the Crucible Marks ready to buy a, uh, a gun. But if it doesn't have the right stats on there, you may want to hold off. I've bought in Secret Handshake three different times now because I wanted to experiment with all the different perks until I finally settled on Hammer Forge and Shop Package. That's what works for me. But obviously there are some perks that only come in Exotic, like the Mark of the Devourer is only on Thorn. But a lot of these other perks that are available are for any gun. So you're just going to kind of have to roll the die literally and keep trying every couple of days as the inventory is replenished to see if you find the combination that works best for you. 
So, to recap, check your hunter stats, uh, hunter, warlock, or titan stats in your actual character loadout. Make sure you're tweaked for the place where you find your other weakness. If you think you need to run faster, you put in speed. If you feel like you just need a little extra oomph or you're taking a little too much damage, you may want to go with battle recovery. And get smart on the weapon perks. This makes a huge difference. And uh, skill is a lot of this game. Skill is about 90%. But that extra 10% could save your life in a firefight. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite perks are. Let me know how your character loadout is. I'm always looking for new advice, and I appreciate everybody for kind of walking me through it before, but I wanted to spread the news. And if I'm late to the party, well, how's it going? As always, thanks for watching. And until then, I and my overpowered Titan will see you guys on the other side.